Welcome back to the Chasm Channel. James here. So in last week's tutorial, we showed you how to use the SQL panel in WinCCOA. Sean, what do you have for us this week? This week, we've got a short one. We're just going to check out the web viewer inside of WinCCOA. OK, the web viewer. When would a user need that? To give you a use case, we've got an aerospace customer. They embed an internal web page that they can look at materials mm -hmm. and then see when parts are going to be available for the certain product that they're producing at the given moment. OK, all within WinCCOA? All within WinCCOA. It's just an embedded web page, so it's going to be a pretty quick tutorial. Cool. Sounds pretty useful. Let's get to it. OK, so let's get started. For the basis of all of these tutorials, we typically use the Getting Started project that's delivered with your installation. So I'm simply inside of the Getting Started project here. So if you'd like to create an embedded web viewer, it's pretty simple. We create a new panel and then we grab this web view tool right here click add it and then we want an initialized script for this to be able to start when we navigate to this panel so I'm simply going to open this type this dot URL and then add the website with the syntax the proper syntax for it to go to that website so we're going to go to HTTP forward slash support dot chasm dot com. Do a syntax check. Check it again. Test it. We're going to call this support panel. Make it an XML. Save it to my examples folder. Hit save. And here is the chasm support site embedded into this panel. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell to stay notified when we post new updates. Oh.